Let's talk about perpendicular lines. So you can see here, we have two lines that are perpendicular to one another. And uh, in algebra, we call lines linear equations as well. And you can see the actual problem that we're gonna be doing is the title of this uh, video. So we're gonna um, look at a specific problem, but we're gonna be talking obviously about uh, the properties of one line to another when two lines are perpendicular. So uh, what, makes line per uh, what makes lines perpendicular? So you can see here, um, you know, we have two lines. I kind of sketched them out, you know, to form a uh, perpendicular angle. But right here, that little notation, a little square down there, indicates that this is 90 degrees. So that's what perpendicular lines are. So one line intercepts another. Uh, and if the angle formed is 90 degrees, like right there, uh, then those lines are perpendicular. So it's something that uh, you definitely need to know. And we're using this notation uh, just right here, but I'm just kind of, um, you know, there's a couple different ways I kind of wrote this out. But I, I like to use this little notation just as a good little reminder of our practicing geometric notation. So here I can say this is line one and this is line two. So I can also indicate that these lines here are perpendicular by saying line one, and this little symbol, an upside down T, uh, means uh, the relationship between these two lines is perpendicular. So just as a uh, aside, if um, those lines were parallel, I would use this notation. So there's different ways to indicate that things are perpendicular and or parallel. So you kind of want to know all those notations, but um, we're going to look at the specific problem here, okay, to determine if one line is perpendicular to another, and of course, this is the same uh, knowledge you're going to need to know if uh, you want to figure out uh, a line that's perpendicular to another line. So we're going to get to this in just one second, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades, and if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, let's get into this problem, perpendicular lines. So already, you know, you should be pretty familiar with some of the um, basic notation here, uh, or definitely the definition of what it means for two lines to be perpendicular. And here is our problem. So we have one line here, okay, or a linear equation, and we have another linear equation, okay? Now, in algebra, you know, something that, you know, we can plot a line on the xy graph, we refer to as a linear equation or just a line. And oftentimes, we like to write those lines in terms of y equals mx plus b form. So if you notice here, both of these linear equations or lines are not written in this particular form, but we're gonna to need to write uh, these lines in this form because we're interested in this guy right here, okay, this M. So how many out there know what that M stands for? So if you're saying it stands for the slope, I would say very good. I would give you a little small happy face. Uh, I don't wanna give you an A plus. I will give you, matter of fact, let's just erase that. I'll give you a B, okay, because that was pretty easy. You know, I wanna, you know, really have you earn your A pluses with me. You know, uh, if you can figure this problem out, then certainly you'll get like full credit. Anyway, so let's just try to make this video a little entertaining at least, but we need to understand the slope, okay, of each line. So how do we uh, find the slope? Well, we're gonna have to rewrite these equations in slope intercept form so we can know what the slope is. Now, let's suppose a slope of a line. As a matter of fact, let me just write this. These, uh, this, this is an example. It has nothing to do with the problems that we're going to do here. But let's say a slope of a line is 2 fifths x plus 1. Let's say I had this linear equation. Okay, now, of course, I could graph this line. But you can see that this line is written in y equals mx plus b form. And this is the slope. Okay, so the slope here of this line is to this. All right, now, there's a special relationship uh, for this line and a line that will be perpendicular to it. So let's say this line is this way. Any line that's gonna be perpendicular to it, and there's not just one line, you can have an infinite amount of lines that are uh, perpendicular to this line, but all these lines will have a special uh, uh, relationship with this slope. Okay, so the slope of this line any line that is perpendicular to this line here, its slope, 
okay, is going to be the following. Let me go ahead and erase this, all right, so we can really hone in on this uh, main concept because this is really the key here. So if this line has a slope of two-fifths, a line that's perpendicular to it is going to have what we call the negative reciprocal of this number, okay? So here's our slope. What we're going to do is we're going to take the opposite of it. So this is a positive number. So we're going to make that negative, and we're going to flip it. We're going to flip the fraction. So in this case, it'll be negative 5 halves, okay? So that's what you need to know. If you have a line, okay, like this line here, any line that's perpendicular to it, its slope will be the negative reciprocal of the, uh, the slope of the line you're comparing it to. All right, let's go in and practice that. Let's say I have a slope of um, two-thirds. What would be um, the negative reciprocal of uh, two-thirds? All right, go ahead and just practice this real quick. If you said negative three-halves, I would say very good. How about the slope? Uh, let's say our slope is negative one-fourth. Okay, well, if we're comparing, uh, if we're trying to find a line that's perpendicular to this, what will be the slope of a line? Uh, if a, one line has a slope of negative one fourth, a line that's perpendicular to it will have a slope of what? So it's the negative or the opposite. Okay, so th if this is negative, so the sign's going to become positive, and you're going to flip this one fourth, so that's going to be four over one or just four. Okay, so you need to understand. The mechanics here but if you if you're like with me on this then excellent okay so what we want to do in this particular problem is we want to determine the slope of this line and the slope of this line and just kind of compare them do they have this negative uh, reciprocal relationship if they do then these lines would uh, in fact be perpendicular okay so that's the main idea here. And if you think you can know how to do this, I would certainly uh, suggest you go ahead and pause the video and do it. That's the way to make the most use of my videos. But let's get to it. I already have the work here. Okay, so we want to write these lines in terms of uh, y. Okay, we want to solve for y. And uh, I've done a lot of videos on uh, solving for a particular variable in an equation. You can uh, see those, uh, those particular uh, videos um, in my algebra and pre-algebra playlist, okay? So you really need to know how to do this. But here, I would want to just solve for y. So to solve for y, I want to get y by itself. I'm going to go ahead and divide everything by 2, okay? And when I do that, I'll get 2 divided by 2, which, of course, y is equal to uh, 3 halves x minus 6 divided by 2 is 3, okay? So this is one line, okay? I rewrote it. So I can clearly see the slope. Okay, the slope is what? It's three halves. Okay, so that's the slope of that line. So we'll go and make that comparison to see if these guys are perpendicular. But I can't do it uh, that yet until I get the slope of this line. So I need to solve for y over here as well. So here is a second linear equation. So I'm going to go and subtract two x from both sides of the equation, and I get negative two x minus six. I got 3y is equal to negative 2x minus 6. I could just put that term in front of here. Remember, I want to try to get that in y equals mx plus b format. So I need to get my x term first. Okay. Now, again, if you're struggling with the mechanics here, you need to go back and do some extra work on solving for particular variables, working with linear equations, et cetera, et cetera. But hopefully you're understanding. And at this point, I need to solve for y. So I'm dividing everything by 3. And then you could see here the result of doing that is going to be y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2. So the slope of this line is negative 2 thirds. Okay. All right. So now let's uh, answer the question. Are these lines perpendicular? So hopefully you would say, yes, it is. Okay. You, because we're here we have three halves and the negative is what's the negative reciprocal of three halves well it's going to be this is positive so it's going to be negative and i'm going to flip these uh numbers and in fact that's the situation that's the relationship between these two slopes so yes indeed these lines are perpendicular this is a kind of medium grade problem not the hardest but you know uh not the maybe the easiest because uh this particular type of question it's not, you know, it doesn't always come up, okay? Uh, like two lines are perpendicular or parallel. So if you wanted to make the comparison of if two lines are parallel, the slopes will need to be the same, okay? But perpendicular, it's a negative reciprocal. And hopefully you remember how to uh, 
make that comparison. Now, there's other type of flavors of this of this topic. I could be like, here is the equation of one line. So I could say this line here is this, and this point right here is let's say three seven. Find me the equation of a line, okay, that goes through this point three seven that's perpendicular to this line. So there's other you know um, uh, type of problems that are related to perpendicular lines. I'll get into those in future videos, but basically what we want to do is just establish a foundation of the relationship between two uh, linear equations that are indeed uh, perpendicular. Okay, so if you think this video helped you out in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me. Uh, and uh, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel, all basic to advanced math. Uh, so if you like my teaching style, I do a ton of videos uh, every week um, on all kinds of various topics, but my best help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.